We are just an advanced breed of monkeys on a minor planet of a very average star. But we can understand the universe. That makes us something very special. The greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance. It is the illusion of knowledge. Quiet people have the loudest minds. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. It surprises me how disinterested we are today about things like physics, space, the universe and philosophy of our existence, our purpose, our final destination. It's a crazy world out there. Be curious. My expectations were reduced to zero when I was 21. Everything since then has been a bonus. Primitive life is very common and intelligent life is fairly rare. Some would say it has yet to occur on Earth. I think computer viruses should count as life. I think it says something about human nature that the only form of life we have created so far is purely destructive. We've created life in our own image. My goal is simple. It is a complete understanding of the universe. Why it is as it is and why it exists at all. I have noticed that even those who assert that everything is predestined and that we can change nothing about it still look both ways before they cross the street. Although I cannot move and I have to speak through a computer, in my mind I am free. One of the basic rules of the universe is that nothing is perfect. Perfection simply doesn't exist. Without imperfection, neither you nor I would exist. The universe doesn't allow perfection. The downside of my celebrity is that I cannot go anywhere in the world without being recognized. It is not enough for me to wear dark sunglasses and a wig. The wheelchair gives me away. If time travel is possible, where are the tourists from the future? Not only does God play dice but, he sometimes throws them where they cannot be seen. You cannot understand the glories of the universe without believing there is some supreme power behind it. People who boast about their IQ are losers. I don't think the human race will survive the next thousand years, unless we spread into space. The thing about smart people is that they seem like crazy people to dumb. To confine our attention to terrestrial matters would be to limit the human spirit. I regard the afterlife to be a fairy story for people that are afraid of the dark. If aliens ever visit us, I think the outcome would be much as when Christopher Columbus first landed in America, which didn't turn out very well for the Native Americans. We only have to look at ourselves to see how intelligent life might develop into something we wouldn't want to meet. One is always a long way from solving a problem until one actually has the answer. The idea of 10 dimensions might sound exciting, but they would cause real problems if you forget where you parked your car. Time and space are finite in extent, but they don't have any boundary or edge. They would be like the surface of the earth, but with two more dimensions. I like physics. But I love cartoons. Nothing is better than reading and gaining more and more knowledge. Government works best under the glare of public scrutiny. Absent such scrutiny, abuses occur. It is not clear that intelligence has any long-term survival value. The human capacity for guilt is such that people can always find ways to blame themselves. Thus, in a sense, we are all doomed, even if we stay away from black holes. The increase of disorder or entropy is what distinguishes the past from the future, giving a direction to time. Eternity is a long time, especially towards the end. We each exist for but a short time, and in that time explore but a small part of the whole universe. I regard the brain as a computer which will stop working when its components fail. There is no heaven or afterlife for broken down computers. 
that is a fairy story for people afraid of the dark. Only time whatever that may be, will tell. If the government is covering up knowledge of aliens, they are doing a better job of it than they do at anything else. The universe does not behave according to our preconceived ideas. It continues to surprise us.